Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if this is your first time, please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos because I will be uploading videos each and every day. Okay, so uh, this is the, uh, the second video on the general virology. If you click on the link on the top right corner, you will see our first part, which is the introduction part. Right, so in this video, we are going to look at our uh, viral life cycle, right? So the vir viruses replicate by synthesizing and assembling their individual components within the host cell, right? So I said it in, in the previous video that these vir the viruses are actually obligate intracellular parasites, right? So their life cycle uh, has like uh, six main um, steps, right? So here I'm going to uh, make an overview and then we'll go into detail like on each of the steps. Attachment to the host cell. That's the step number one. Okay, so the virus uses cell surface proteins and the receptors for the entry, right? Step number two, there is penetration into the host cell. Right. So as I said before, uh, the viruses can either be enveloped or non-enveloped. Right. So non-enveloped viruses, they uh, penetrate into the host cell via endocytosis or transmembrane transport. All right. But the enveloped viruses, they enter either via uh, endocytosis or fusion with uh, host cells membrane. Right. Okay, then the third step is uncoating of the nucleic acid. Okay, I will explain what it means. Just a moment. Uh, the fourth step is replication of the nucleic acid and formation of viral proteins by transcription and translation. The RNA is initially transcribed into uh, DNA in what? Uh, in these retroviruses, right? Okay. Uh, so the early mRNA uh, which is formed is for the synthesis of um, firstly the proteins to shut down the host cells defense mechanism and secondly proteins for the genome replication for example uh, viral RNA polymerase All right and then the late mRNA so this is for synthesis of uh, viral uh, structural proteins right Okay, so here uh, I'm going to, to show you our first uh, um, illustration. So this is a virus, right? Uh, this is representing a virus. And this one is a cell, a uh, cell membrane or cell plasma membrane, right? And here you can see the nuclear envelope and here the nucleus, right? So the first step of attachment, uh, these are the receptors, these are spikes, these are receptors of the virus. Um, and then if you look here on the cell membrane, you can also see uh, the complementary uh, receptors. So here you can see, you can see um, this one, we, we, we refer to it as a receptor mediated endocytosis, right? So here, uh, like this vesicle is now inside the what? The cell and then there is uncoating and then um, integration into uh, the uh, the cell machinery okay so look at it like uh, sometime later and uh, this one is the release part on the right side we will look at it later all right so this was step number four all right then uh, step number five there is assembly of virus proteins and step number six there is release right so uh on release the enveloped viruses they are released by budding but non-enveloped viruses are released via uh, like cell lysis right okay so as you can see here uh, the release here is is by is by budding right so this one is specifically this one is in enveloped um, a virus so here I have uh, like uh, an illustration of the intracellular viral replication in a DNA virus right so this first step is attachment a receptor uh, of the virus and uh, receptors of the cell membrane so if as you can see like when the virus enters like these receptors they remain outside the receptors on, or, or the spikes on the 
um, viral envelope they remain outside and here only there is this word this capsid which uh, which contains the viral genome which enters right and then the second stage this one is uncoating you can see this uncoating of the what of the uh, viral DNA here for example uh, right and then here there is nuclear entry right so uh, the DNA viruses usually they replicate inside the nucleus so they enter into the nucleus right so here you, we have our dna right so this dna who have like uh, two pathways firstly there is a replication like replication to form a lot of dnas for more viruses right and then this dna can also be transcribed right this is transcription into mrna right and then this mrna will then be what the trans will then be translated um in the cytoplasm into uh, the proteins and then there will be what assembly like uh combining the what the newly synthesized dna and uh, the viral proteins to form our what to form our new uh virus and then then it will be released right okay so this is or this is specifically for dna viruses now i'm going to show you um the intracellular viral replication of the rna virus so as you can see here uh here i represented the intracellular viral replication of rna virus here there is attachment and penetration i just combined they are just combined here right uh, it's almost the same thing as in dna then the uncoating same thing right we are saying i'm cutting this one in or in both cases dna viruses and rna viruses it happens in the cytoplasm but now there is no uh, entry into the what into the nucleus except in orthomix of virus right orthomix of virus is just an exception it replicates inside the nucleus but the rest of the rna viruses they uh, replicate uh, in the cytoplasm right okay so here is the viral rna right it can either be replicated to form more uh, strands of uh, viral rnas right and it can also be uh, transcribed into mrna right and here you can see here there is a uh, protein synthesis and then there is uh, splicing like uh, uh, orientation of new, new uh, like structural proteins and here they are combined so this is assembly the newly synthesized rna uh, and the structural proteins they are combined here and form our new what our new virus and here is released okay, in the last video i just promised that i will show you the bacteriophage right so here is the bacteriophage right here you can say it has three parts the head the tail and the and the base right so in the head here you can see the the genome here and then the capsid outside right then uh, combining the tail and the head is a collar this one is called a collar right so uh, this whole thing is named a tail tube and it is like a helical sheet around it right here you can see a, a base plate here this is a base plate with uh, spikes these are the spikes and then these are the long fibers thank you so much for uh, watching this video uh, please like share and subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss um, end of our new videos thank you so much